So my best moments field herping, huh? You know, there's too many of them to count, man. Too many to count. I'll try to tell a few stories though. You know, I've had a lot of fun times and crazy times herping, but some of the best times I've had have been recently, man, with Joe Fair and Dan Baker, man. Glad I hooked up with those guys. Joe Fair is just nuts. Seriously. I mean, we find these holes. We're like, Joe, look, there's a hole. It's like a well thing, man. It looks like it's about 50 feet deep, and there's, oh, man, it looks like there's bones and dead bodies in there, but I think a snake fell down there. He's on it, man. Don't go down those holes. It's insane, dude. And then, like, trees. We'll see snakes in trees, and we're like, dude, look, it's like 100 feet up there, right? Joe, uh, I'm, you know, I got a bad knee, dude. He's, boom, that's cool. I'm up there, man. So it's just cool herping with these guys because whatever it takes to find things, whatever it takes to catch them, these guys are on it, man. It is fun. It is a blast. Oh, yeah, and then there was the time I was herping with Nick, Celine Snake Guy 85, and he decided to blow on a cotton mouth to get it to open its mouth. That was crazy. Hangs out, and he didn't even know one had a camera ready. Man, he, he just struck it. Okay, let's... let's no, but seriously, I had a great time herping with Nick, Sling Snake I-85. One thing I learned, a lesson I learned, which made that a great herp trip, was that it was 40, 45 degrees most of the time we were there. It was raining, it was cold, it was miserable, and I was complaining, going, man, we're not going to find anything, I wasted my time. You know, and Nick said, we're going to find stuff, man, guaranteed. We ended up finding like nine species of salamanders, uh, water moccasins, you know, I saw some ribbon snakes, uh, we saw an earth snake. Anyway, it turned out to be a great trip, he's a great guy. Um, we, had, we had a blast, man. And, and he's really, he's not like you think he is, honestly. He, the guy's got it going on. <laughs> Actually, that was fun, that was a blast. Another thing about my Missouri, Illinois trip that was very cool is getting to hang out with uh, Dylan, herping with Dylan and Amanda. You know, I can get to go out and herp with them, but I got to interview them and just get to know them a little bit better and they are awesome. Hey, it's Rob. Still, what are you doing? Oh, I, I, thought, I thought he was going to say, I'm here with it. Oh, awesome. yeah. <laughs> okay. oh, that's right. And I look forward to herping with those guys in October, but uh, that was definitely uh, something that made that trip really cool. Then we were in the Everglades in February, and we were out there in a canoe and paddling and just getting really, really close to the alligators, and all of a sudden Nicholas said, Dad, look at all the alligators paddle back fast! Man, I knew we should have gone to Disney World. So we barely made it out with our lives. It was intense. So another trip I took was, uh, in Arkansas, southern Arkansas. I used to live there as a kid. And uh, so we're way down in this southern town of Nowheresville. And this lady from the motel told us where we could find some snakes. So we took her directions and found this place. And we were back in the middle of nowhere, man. I'm talking like 10 miles back. And ain't nobody but me and Nicholas taking lefts and rights on a dirt road. And then we heard this sound, man. The sound freaked us out. I mean, we were scared. We didn't know what it was. And when you're back on dirt roads 10 miles in Arkansas and you hear sounds you don't know what they are, you guys run for the hills, boy! So quite honestly, there's really not one experience I can look at that, that I can say, hey man, this is just the one time that I just really had a great time herping. You know, I pretty much have a good time every time I go out. A couple of things this year have been cool is, is targeting like a species and finding it, like the speckled king snake. It was really cool when Joe and I said, we're going to go find a speckled king snake twice. And we were able to do it real quick uh, when we started out those both those days. That was cool. Today, we went out looking for smooth green snakes, and uh, you know, they're not easy to find, and neither are the speckled king snakes. Um, and we found some smooth greens today. So that kind of stuff is awesome. So those are definitely my favorite moments when we actually go look for specific species and find it. That is awesome. But you know, more than that is the people I'm meeting. You know, Joe Farah, Dan Baker, you know, I get to hang out with my son, uh, Nick, Sling Snake Guy 85, Herpin with Dylan, you know, getting to know some of you guys online. Uh, that's what is cool about herping to me, is the people. I mean, you guys are just awesome. I think it's just a great hobby, and um, I dig hanging out with the people. It's just fun. And so, uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.